This just into CBS Sports HQ. Michigan has announced who will step in for Jim Harbaugh for the first three games of the season. And it won't be just one coach. Defensive coordinator Jesse Minter will coach the first game against East Carolina. Special teams coach Jay Harbaugh and running back coach Mike Hart will coach against UNLV. And then offensive coordinator Sharon Moore will coach week three against Bowling Green. All three games are home games for the Wolverines. Michigan self-imposed the three-game suspension for Harbaugh for lying to NCAA investigators about recruiting violations. Harbaugh can coach during the week, just can't be with the team on game days. He'll return to the sideline for Michigan's Big Ten opener against Rutgers. And more welcome in CBS Sports senior college football writer Dennis Dodd. Big game Dennis Dodd, as I love to call him. The Wolverines will have four different head coaches in their first three games. Dennis, what do you make of the decision by Michigan? God, so much to unpack here, Hakeem. I mean, part of me thinks he's making a mockery of the suspension by doing this, um, giving tryouts, if you will, to not three coaches in three non-conference games, four coaches. And if you're in U if you're UNLV and new coach Barry Odom, how do you feel right about now? You know, you're going to face one, you know, one coach in one half, Jim, Jim's son, and another coach in, an in another half legendary running back of Michigan, Mike Hart. So the only thing I'll say about it is he did kind of hint at this in June. He was speaking to reporters and said, hey, no, we have four guys on the staff who could be head coaches one day. And he mentioned these four. But little did we know that at that point they would actually get their chance to do it. So I, I think this is more shenanigans a little bit from Jim Harbaugh. Dennis, when you look at the three-game suspension for Harbaugh, how do you believe it's viewed around college football? That's a great question. I said at the beginning when the news broke that I had to run it by some people, and they agreed this is really the first time on such a matter like this that uh, the AD Ward Manual has stood up to Jim Harbaugh. Now, there have been contract negotiations. There have been you know dalliances with the NFL. But on something like this, where it looked like it was done, uh, four-game suspension, then the NCAA came in and said, not so fast, we're going to have a full-on investigation. And at that point, it was guaranteed it was going to last until next year, maybe not next season, but certainly next year. Well, then Ward Manuel, the AD, tries to mitigate the, the penalties by doing the three-game suspension, hoping that the NCAA takes that into account when and if the penalties are applied on this case. And Hakeem, we should mention, this was a nothing case. This was January, notice of allegations. They had met with a couple of recruits during the COVID dead period, texting outside allowable limits, level two. And what got Jim Harbaugh in trouble was the cover-up is worse than a crime, allegedly misleading and lying to the NCAA. So this is just another headline, not another day with Jim Harbaugh. Okay. So Jim Harbaugh. Four different coaches for three games. We'll uh, see how that plays out. All three games are home games. Dennis Dodd giving us his perspective here on CBS Sports HQ. Dennis, thank you. Again, the Wolverines will have four different head coaches in their first three games. Defensive coordinator Jesse Minter will coach against East Carolina. Special teams coach Jay Harbaugh and running backs coach Mike Hart will coach against UNLV, a game you can watch on CBS. And then offensive coordinator Sharon Moore will coach week three against Bowling Green. And then Jim Harbaugh will be on the sideline for Michigan's Big Ten opener against Rutgers.